Hey guys, it's good if you can get in the habit of taking your short-term wins and rolling that into your long-term account that you don't touch. And obviously reward yourself first by going out, grabbing lunch or taking your girlfriend or wife out, but then put it into your long-term account. Remember, it's time in the market, not timing the market. And you'll notice, obviously, trying to day trade, it's very difficult, right? The back and forth, it can drive you nuts. But if you change your focus to feeding the long-term account, okay, it's going to be, that's where you're going to see the chance for exponential returns down the road, okay? Always remember that. Like I said, in the short run, you're going to have wins and losses. It's going to be an emotional roller coaster. Like I said, if you follow me, I'm going to help you win more than you lose. But try to roll over your money, if you can, into the long-term account. And I know some of you are like, why would I want to do that? The markets are frothy right now. I get that. But if you stick in the AI and semiconductor space, where I believe it's still the beginning of this AI boom as companies still are figuring out how to monetize it, and I think it will happen, it takes time. And so I would feed the AI and semiconductor stocks mainly over the long haul, because again, that's where the annual compound growth rate of 37% is expected you know, over the next decade. So that's personally what I'm doing. I got the long-term investment account. I got the short-term trading account. I roll over my short-term wins into my long-term account. And I've been feeding that now for the last couple months, you know, heading into this interest rate cut. Remember, it's the beginning of this interest rate cut cycle. And that is good for equities. I know people are worried about recession. Remember, there's always going to be worries, but these people are going to miss out most likely on a huge boom. And don't get me wrong, there will be dips along the way. People think the market's crashing, but it's not. Remember, AI will keep markets afloat, in my opinion, at least for the next couple of years, guys. Who knows? Anything can happen down the road. But I am feeding the long-term account, and it's just a smart way because that's the only way you'll be able to see life-changing money down the road, right, if you hold for many, many years.